Timmer's watching H1 and today I'm going to be doing uh, the, the mid-year book free get I just have my notes here with the questions on it. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, like statistics and stuff. Uh, the books, the amount of books I've read so far this year, I've read 26, which is 50% of my Goodreads goal, which is 52, which is to do with the around the year 52 books that I've been doing. And of that 52, I read 19 of the challenges. The other seven are just random books that I've picked up here and there. There wasn't to do with the 52 challenges. So, And um, I was going to ask if you would like a separate video on the challenges that I've completed to do with that. If you, if you do, just let me know in the description or give it a like. And if you do, I'll, I'll definitely do that. I've... I was gonna like uh, see how many physical and audiobooks and ebooks that I've read. Um, unfortunately, I've not read any ebooks yet this year. Uh, I have read 22 physical books and four audiobooks. So I, I kind of expected that because I prefer physical books over anything else. I want to see how many like adults and manga and YA and middle grade that I've read. Uh, I've read 15 adult, which is not surprising. I mostly only read adult books anyway. Um, I read three mangas, uh, seven young adult, or YA, and one middle grade. Then I figured how many fiction versus non-fiction I've read, and I've read 22 fiction and four non-fiction. So, I need to up my non-fiction, <laughs> basically is what it's telling me. Um, but I'm just going to get around to the questions now. Uh, first question is, best book you have read so far in 2019? And it was actually the first book I read. Uh, that was Misery, it'll be up here, by Stephen King. Honestly, I loved that book. It helped me get out of a five month long reading slump from last year. So. Ironically, it was Stephen King who put me in this one because I read It by him and that was a massive, massive book so it just burnt me out and I just didn't want to read anything else. That's my favourite book. Uh, it was like a tie kind of between Misery and Stocking Jack the Ripper by Kerry Maniscalco. I absolutely loved that book. Both books were five stars for me. The second question is best sequel you've read? And this was a kind of a toss up because the only real sequel I've read this year was Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean and McGuire. I listened to that on audiobook on script. This is definitely a sequel, it says on the on the little sticker there. Third question is new release you haven't read but want to. I don't really keep up with that kind of thing. But I have seen a lot of people talking about Middle Game by Sean and McGuire and I do love her We Were Children series so I definitely would like to try and read that because apparently it's dark and I like that kind of book. So Question four is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Again I don't keep up with releases or anything like that but I would probably pick up any James Parsons or Stephen King's that were to come out. I think Stephen King has got another one coming out soon, so when I get home I'll, I'll see if I can pick it up or any James Parsons that come out, so <laughs> that's probably my only answer for that because I don't, I don't research uh, what releases are coming out or anything like that. Um, number five is biggest disappointment of the year so far. Uh, that I read for, I think it was for the Owls? was Zoo 2 by James Parson. It's like a novella slash filler book for the Zoo series. I don't know if he's meant to be doing more, but he said he was doing more, but I don't think anything else has come out. It's also a series on Netflix. I just did not like it. It was boring as hell. I hated the main character. He was a man baby. He said he loved his family, and yet he was looking at other women. I just, no, I could not deal with him, no. Uh, question six is biggest surprise. And that was actually One of Us is Lying by Karen M. M. McManus. I, when I found out that that was a young adult book, 
I thought it, it was a thriller and I thought okay I, I'll still read it because uh, it was it sounded interesting and I picked it up in my local Tesco's I, but I didn't expect anything amazing from it uh, because it is young adult and I don't know that I've read previous young adult thrillers and they've just been a big letdown. There's no substance to the story. You could figure it out pretty much almost instantly, but not one of us is lying. It took me until the book told me who did it. And I was like, you complete dumbass. I was like, how did I not see it? To be honest, I don't know. I mean, I had uh, suspicions, but I thought, no, that can't be right. But then it was, and I was like, eh? It still shocked me so bad. I was like, what the hell? Um, so yeah, that was uh, my biggest surprise this year. I think I ended up giving it a four stars. It was like almost friggin' amazing. Like Number seven is Fave New Author. Uh, fave, fave New Author Debut or New To You Author. Um, I get stuck in Jack the Ripper. This is gonna get old really fast, but uh, Stuck in Jack Zipper by Kevin Maniscalco. I've not read any of her books. I think that was her debut and it just so happens that it's a James Parson Presents and you probably know by now that I love James Parson so <laughs> it was a no-brainer to pick up her books. So. Uh, question 8 is newest fictional crush. I don't technically, no I don't really get crushes from books. I mean I kind of almost wanted to cheat with this one uh, it is a tv show uh, it's the walking dead but i do have the comics so technically it's still a book ish thing uh is negan i love negan he's freaking amazing or audrey rose wadsworth from stalking jack the ripper i loved her she was amazing number nine is fave new character uh I'm going to be redundant here and say Audrey Rose Wadsworth from Stalking Jack the Ripper, the main character. I don't know. I just loved her so much. She was amazing, to be honest. Um, question 10 is a book that made you cry. Uh, there was, I think, only two books this year so far that have made me cry. And the first one is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I'm sure you'll probably understand why. Uh, and... The second one is uh, Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I did not expect that, but uh, it was a point in the book where everything was like coming to a head and I just, it's even, I think in one of my vlogs, in my Owls vlogs, um, I was crying on camera because it just made me tear up for some reason. Uh, that book was so sweet, to be honest. Question of living is a book that made me happy and same answer love simon uh despite all the heartache and that that you, the character went through throughout the book at the end it still came out good and uh, it was a really really good ending yeah it did definitely make me happy uh, question 12 second last question uh the most beautiful book you bought this year and i'll put it up here it's the i think the uk paperback edition of The Woman in the Window by A.G. Finn. And blue is my favourite colour, so I just loved that book so much. The cover was amazing, to be honest. And the last question, question 13, is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Well, I'd like to complete the the last, mostly all of the, the prompts for the end of the year 52 books challenge. I'd like to complete all 52 of those. I think I'm behind by like four challenges, like a, a month's worth, because you need a book a week. So I think I'm behind by a month because I've read other books on top of those challenges. But I'm hoping with this month and next month, I'll be able to catch up a little bit more. So that'll be handy, uh, especially with three readathons this month and the newts are in August. So. <laughs> also, another new release that I would like to read, I'm hoping to read uh, for the nudes, is The Chalk Man, I think. I don't know if it's a, a new new release, but I saw Books and Lala go on about it and I was like, ooh. So, 
I, I trust her recommendations. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hoping to read The Chunk Man by CJ Tudor. I think that's his name. Or her, I don't know. That's everything that I've done, read this year. My Instagram or Twitter are in the description as always. I hope you enjoyed and do let me know if you want a separate video to do with the around the year vintage two books and what challenges I've already completed. And I'll see you next time. And bye.